Hello YouTube and welcome to another Elasticsearch tutorial. So in this video I will just show you a very simple hello world example using Elasticsearch. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, let's just see if the service is running. So I will execute my command here system ctl status and the service name which is elastic service okay so as you can see here the service is active and running okay so let me clear that first so in order to talk with elastic search we use what we call rest apis but you have to know that Elasticsearch REST API URL should actually follow an exact format. The format that we'll be using here with the help of the curl command is something like this. So we'll be using the server name and the port so the port is usually by default 9200 then we follow that using the index so you can consider the index as uh, similar to a database in the relational database world okay and also the type the type is kind of tables in the relation database world okay then document so you can assimilate a document as a row and finally you give some keys and values in order to feed our Elasticsearch engine okay so as I told you I'll be talking with Elasticsearch using the curl command and some HTTP requests and this actually following format so let's start so this is our first example here so as you can see here I'm using the curl command it's a Linux actually command but you can use any client you want for example if you are using your web browser you can use postman or kibana but here I'm using just actually a Linux command curl with the help of this HTTP requests so here I'm using the post, so the post in order to index our document or to insert data into the Elasticsearch engine. So here, as you can see, we have actually the standard format here. So the server name is localhost because we are executing in the current server, which is our localhost and followed by the default port number, which is 9200 okay then the people so the people here is our index or is similar to the database okay then the person so the person here is the type and the document here is number one okay and we are feeding our elastic search engine using a JSON format Data. so as you can see here we have some keys and some values so the first key for example here is F name for first name the second key is L name for last name and the third and final key is job so each one of these keys that you can consider as columns is actually attached to its value so this is our first document here that we will be indexing or inserting to our Elasticsearch engine. So I will hit enter here. Here we go. So the server Elasticsearch has responded with the following line here. So you can see here it's successful. So we have actually succeeded into inserting data into the Elasticsearch engine. Okay so let me clear that I can actually retrieve this data using the get HTTP requests so remember we have used the post in order to insert data 
but here I will be using actually the get method in order to retrieve the data that we have inserted into the Elasticsearch engine. So here we go. So here, as you can see, I'm using the get method and I'm requesting our actually Elasticsearch engine in order to give us the first document number one. So I will hit enter here. As you can see here, I get the result. So I have here the first record that I have inserted, John as first name, Smith as last name, and the job is administrator. So here the server is suspended with just one line, but I can make that pretty. So let me create that. So I'll be using the same syntax, but here at the end, I can actually add another parameter. This parameter will be just an interrogation sign followed by the pretty parameter equal to true. Here we go. So now I have actually a JSON data format here. So you can see here clearly the index which is people, the type which is person and the ID also. And here in the source we have our data John Smith administrator. Okay. So here we have succeeded to retrieve the data. I can also update actually the data if I want. So let's for example update this inserted data here and let's change the job from administrator to sys administrator or system administrator if you want. So remember we have used the get method in order to retrieve data. Here we are updating data so I'll be using the post method this time. Here we go. So I'll use in here we'll be using the post method and with here slash underscore update. Okay. And here the content type is actually JSON. And here document we are changing or updating the value job to system admin here for the document one. So let me execute that. Here we go. We have executed. So let's retrieve it once again in order to see if I get the result needed. So I'll be using the get method. Here we go. So instead of administrator, I get system admin. So we have succeeded in order to update the data in Elasticsearch engine. Okay. Next, so let's actually feed our Elasticsearch with uh, some tree records. So just to make some searches. So here I'll be inserting more data into the Elasticsearch. Okay, so here the second document here. So this time the first name is Alice, last name Stevenson, and the job is manager. Here we go. I have clicked enter and have succeeded in order to insert this second record. Let's insert a third record here. So this time I will be using as first name Laila, last name is Thompson and the job is director. Here we go. It's executed. And finally, let's add last records. So this is the final record. So as first name is Bob, last name Dylan, and the job is manager. Here we go. So now our database, if you can call it like that, or our index contains four records. Okay, let me clear that. And let's try to retrieve all these records. So remember, we'll be using this time the get method. So in order to retrieve all the data, so this is the syntax. So the method is get and here I'm using search against a query is equal to 
star which means all the records here we go so here we have actually all the records that we have inserted but as you can see here it's all on one line so let's make that pretty so first let me clear that and I will just add here at the end and pretty so this is our trick here is equal to true here we go so you can see the data that I have inserted so this is the third document which is Lila Thompson and here the first one John Smith the fourth one Bob Dylan and finally the second one Alice Stevenson so all the data that we have inserted are actually inserted to our search engine here so this is the syntax once again in order to retrieve all the data from our search or elastic search engine okay but as you may know the utility for the elastic search is actually full text search so let's say for first of all let me clear that once again and this time I will be actually trying to, to search for special keywords for example Lila so in order to retrieve always the get method and the syntax is pretty simple just underscore search then the query which is this time is equal to Layla and as you can see here I get the record so the ID or the document is number three so let's make that also pretty so I will add this and pretty is equal to true just to make sure it's very clearly here and if voila as you can see the index is people person is the type and the ID for the document is three okay and we have here our first name Lila last name Thompson and director I don't know if you have noticed it or not I have actually inserted two manager in our Elasticsearch engine so let's verify that clear and here I will be just using as the query is equal but this time instead of Layla I will just type manager and normally I should have two records et voila I have actually Bob Dylan which is a manager but Alice is also a manager okay so here I have succeeded actually to get the result the result I want okay so here I am querying the whole database or the whole index but I can specify if I want a specific key so let me clear that something like that so here after the, the query is equal I specified the key which is job is equal to system so whenever there is the keyword system in the job key it will be displayed here so normally I have just one which is John Smith so let's verify that so I will hit enter here et voila as you can see I get here our system admin so of course it's John Smith so this is the kind of query that you can actually query the Elasticsearch engine okay so here you can see at the top we have some parameters for example the max score so we'll be talking about that in the next or following videos okay I will terminate that just by showing you how you can delete the whole index so in order to delete the whole index it's pretty simple so I will get rid of all that I will here specify my index which is people and instead of using the get method I don't want to retrieve anything I want just to delete so I will add keyword here or the option here delete et voila I get acknowledge or 
is equal to true, which means I have succeeded to delete our whole index. Okay. So that was just a brief video to show you the, just how you can interact with the Elasticsearch engine. So that was pretty easy, pretty simple. I'm using here just to curl Linux command, but as I told you, there are many tools, many clients that you can use in order to talk with the Elasticsearch engine. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.